You're watching KOAT Action 7 News. An Albuquerque church may have violated its 501c3 status when the pastor endorsed a city council candidate at a recent service. Target 7's Don Cardinelli dug deeper into these claims. John. Shelly and Doug on Tuesday, Pastor Steve Smotherman at Legacy Church told his congregation to vote for a specific candidate in Albuquerque's upcoming city council runoff race. The church is a nonprofit, and according to the IRS, nonprofits could not contribute to the political process. We spoke with our legal expert to see if a violation was made. So we'll let you we'll let you stop it where you want to stop it, John, and then you can just talk about what's questionable if that works for you. Okay. Listen, early voting is open now. Go vote till December 4th because we need people like her on the city council. Okay, well, the thing about churches and politics are that um, if a church, most churches are nonprofits under the IRS code, the 501c3s. And that means any nonprofit, uh, to keep their nonprofit status, they have to stay out of endorsing people. They have to stay out of partisan politics. Target 7 recently learned a pastor at Legacy Church in Albuquerque, a 501c3 nonprofit, endorsed city council candidate Lori Robertson at a church service. Basically, when you form a, a, a nonprofit, you're saying, okay, the benefit we get is we're not taxed, um, but we also give up the ability to you know, support particular candidates and support particular positions. According to this document from the IRS, verbal or written statements by a 501c3 in favor or opposition of any candidate can result in the denial or revocation of tax-exempt status. We need people like her to make sure this crazy guy they call a mayor doesn't continue to push his agenda. I, having watched this a couple of times, more than a couple of times, I would think if the IRS looks at it, they'll say, you know what, you're, you're really crossing the line. You're, you're saying get the, vote the mayor out, vote these uh, counselors in, um, and whether they actually take action against them, who knows. Target 7 called Legacy multiple times. Hello, you have reached the desk of Maria Christopher, Pastor Steve Smotherman's assistant. And reached out to them by email. But we never got a response. So what can the IRS do to the church? Do they get their 5013C status taken away permanently, or is it just for the year in which they violated? The penalty will be, okay, you decided to engage in partisan politics. That's not consistent with being a nonprofit. So what we're doing is for that year, say tax year 2021, we're going to tax you as any other business. Under the U.S. Constitution, a church can engage in free speech and support a candidate. Churches that do that need to pay taxes and could not be a nonprofit. Day says it comes down to a business decision for the church. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. And Day says many political candidates have priests or rabbis stand with them on stage. The difference is they're not doing it in church or telling a congregation to go vote for a specific candidate.